the campfire. What's the lure of a campfire? No. Of course, if you've never sat around a campfire, you wouldn't know. However, if you spent any amount of time at all around a campfire, you would know. First off, a campfire is a sensory delight. The crackling sound of flames licking the wood, the smell of wood smoke drifting in the air. The dancing flames will mesmerize you into deep thought, if you let them. Ah yeah, morning, noon, or night, the lure of a campfire can be irresistible. Pull up a chair and gather around the fire while I tell you the tale about campfires. Prop your moccasins up on the rocks, stretch out your legs, settle back, and enjoy the fire. Help yourself to that can of peaches right there, and pass them around. Campfires are good to cook on. Everyone knows that food always tastes better when cooked over the open fire. Unless you've never had a baked potato wrapped in foil and laid in the coals, or a cob of corn wrapped the same way and laid on the grill to cook, or a piece of meat grilled over an open fire, just the way you like it, or a peach or a tomato. Yes, you'll be missing out on a culinary delight for sure. Not to mention some fried taters and eggs for breakfast, cooked over an open fire, in a cast iron skillet. Or how about some rolls baked in a Dutch oven, with the coals from a campfire. How about a cup of cowboy coffee, boiled right there over that same open fire. You'll never go to Starbucks again, I guarantee you your money back. In days gone by, the fire was essential, big or small. It was a necessity, not only to cook on, but for warmth and protection. Imagine when Ivan and Igor first came upon that smoldering log, snuggling up to it, warming the chill from their bones, the quizzical look on their face. They had no idea what they stumbled on. It was a game changer. I know. I read about it in their blog. Even today, the campfire is essential. Why do you think fire pits are so popular? Out in the desert, in the mountains, or in your own backyard, a lot of quality time should be spent around the campfire. Even if it's just waiting for the beans to cook. It's good for the soul and humankind. If you have troubles on your mind, commit them to the smoky wisps and let them drift away. A lot of the world's problems can be solved around the campfire. There's even campfire etiquette. Bet you didn't know that, did you? First is if you never walk between someone and a fire, walk around. Next, you never put plastic in the fire, put it in the trash. And finally, the fire ring is not the dump. It's no place for metal cans, bottles, or any kind of plastic trash, fire or not. Now, I know some of you good folks are turning up your noses and rolling your idea eyes at the idea of sitting around a campfire. Smoke gets in your eyes, your cold, clothes smell of smoke. Yes, I know, but it's a small price to pay. I believe the lure of the campfire is almost primordial. It's in our genes. It goes all the way back to when Ivan and Igor drug that burning log into the yard and stood there with their thumbs stuffed in their spenders, admiring their invention for all to see. <laughs> Barbecues, grills, and fire pits and backyards of suburbia weren't far behind. Well there you have it folks. If you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more then by all means hit that subscribe button. And down in the comments below let me know what your experiences have been around campfires. Good or bad? I'd like to know. Until next time Stay curious, my friends, and I'll see you out there somewhere, maybe even around a campfire. <laughs>